सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रियो व्रत एंड वेलकम टू द हेल्पफुल टेक्निक्स अगेन सो गाइज करेंटली टी सी एस इज हायरिंग फ्रेशर्स थ्रू द एन क्यू टी एंड थ्रू द स्मार्ट हायरिंग प्रोसेस अक्रॉस द इंडिया सो आई हैव सीन दैट मेनी ऑफ आर व्यूअर्स आर कमेंटिंग नाउ एट इज दैट आई बिलोंग टू दिस नॉन आई टी बैकग्राउंड लाइक मैकेनिकल सिविल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू अटेंड द टी सी एस टेक्निकल एंड द एच आर इंटरव्यू सो हाउ कैन आई प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस टेक्निकल एंड द एच आर इंटरव्यूज so uh, if uh, if you uh, like i remember previously in january 2021 we uploaded two different videos regarding tcs uh, technical and the hr interview preparation like what is the syllabus for different branch candidates like uh, civil electrical uh, cac uh, ec etc candidates and like how to prepare for the resume and how to uh, resume for the tcs uh, technical hr interview etc etc so i uh, think you uh, the new viewers uh, might not have watched that previous video no issues about that i'll be putting the uh, link of our previous videos regarding the tcs uh, hr interview and the technical interview in the description of this video go through it and uh, watch the videos so that you'll be able to uh, know a to z thing like tips and tricks on how to uh, crack the uh, technical hr interview as well and uh, so in this video i'll be giving you an overview of how to uh, act smartly or the last minute preparation guide because uh, it is not possible for us to uh, tell everything in a single video it is not possible uh, so it is one of the most important thing or uh, important video uh, that means the today's video and before discussing further if you are new to our youtube channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon for more job updates and yeah one more thing recently we have launched a facility uh, where you can uh, uh, will be helping you uh, with your resume building and will be taking uh, multiple mock interviews for different companies or the mass hiring companies like tcs infosys wipro etc etc and there will be also a feedback session like after the taking your interview we'll be giving you a feedback on how to improve your uh, weak parts etc etc or the weak areas etc and if you are willing to take the mock interview facility you can drop or reach us through the email address or through our email address helpfultechnics@gmail.com with uh, all the details like for which company you need to uh, take your mock interview etc etc and yeah one more thing it is a paid service that means you have to pay certain amount and it is a reasonable amount amount that means uh, you need not to pay that much of money within like only uh, some certain amount you need to pay and it is very much less no uh, like uh, the pizza uh, amount or the like pizza price uh, you need to pay like this kind of like small amount you need to pay because it is not free of cost we cannot provide this facility to the everyone so that's why certain amount you need to pay so uh, now let's discuss so that before discussing further like uh, technology part before moving to the technology part uh, let me divide the candidates or the uh, like viewers into different categories so basically there are three different uh, candidates will be there first one is the beginner level or the candidate those who know very very less in the like technical stuffs they know like the like they know only like see uh, why it is been used and what is print tab scan app these like basic things they they know like uh, 10 5 to 10 percentage of the whole thing they know and the second category is the intermediate level like they know the basics of c java sql etc etc they know and third one is the third category is the uh, expert level candidate those who have good hands on experience in in these technologies and the at the expert level so first of all we will be discussing for the beginners level candidates like how they can prepare within a short period of time and before discussing further uh, let me tell you uh, one thing about the resume building because it is one of the most important thing you need to take care of because the uh, for the freshers in the case of the mass hiring companies they will be asking you from your resume only because uh, you don't have any prior experience so whatever you have mentioned in your resume from that only they will be asking you in the interview in the technical and the hr interview so you need to mention everything in a proper manner that means a proper uh, manner or the proper proper format will be there like uh, career objective and the your qualification details your background details like uh, trainings you have undergone internship etc and the trainings or the uh, technologies you know and at the end you can do the declaration etc etc you can put but uh, you need to 
uh, take care of the projects you have mentioned that means from your project only they will be asking first question will be tell something about yourself so you need to uh, prepare well for this question because this is the last impre uh, first impression as you all know first impression is the last impression so while telling this like tell something you about yourself if you are telling like uh, hi myself uh, priyabrat mohanty and uh, i uh, like this if you are acting then the it will create a bad impact or a bad negative impact or the bad impression it will create and from that time only uh, like uh, if you are feeling nervous yeah i am not able to tell like uh, answer this question then you will uh, feel like demotivated or your confidence will be uh, down at that uh, from that point only so and after that they will be asking you from your previous year project or the recently built project so like uh, they will be asking you the functionality how it works and what are the different technologies you have used and uh, if it is already there in the market they will be asking you the what are the extra things you have added in your project and uh, what are the advantages kind of thing they will be asking and uh, in case of the mechanical or the civil background candidates they will be asking you what was your role that means if you have done the uh, manufacturing part or if you have done the designing part or the team uh, management part if you have done the marketing part etc whatever you have done or whatever uh, the activity or the roles you have uh, carried out you can mention all these things during uh, telling to the recruiter and you need to well prepare in this project part only and after the third question will be from your uh, branch only from branch wise topics only that means they'll be asking you for for which topic you are well prepared like uh, you can tell uh, the for the mechanical uh, candidates you can tell the thermodynamics part i am well prepared or the uh, solid mechanics or the machine designing etc these kind of things you can tell and from that uh, topic only they'll be asking you other topics they will not uh, touch that much from that topic only the major uh, maximum of the question should be there and after that if you are a beginner level candidate what they will be asking they will they cannot expect much from you because you know like the basics of c like full basic things you know and little bit of java and little bit of sql or any other thing or any other stuff so uh, the mass hiring companies only only will be checking here uh, logical ability or the uh, whether you are uh, you are a good problem solver or not that means uh, they will not be hiring you for a specific technologies like for the mass hiring companies so if the company uh, has the requirement for the java developer currently the java development project is uh, at the peak so uh, they will be giving you a training in the java field only or the java technology only then they will deploy you to the uh, project or they will take you to, to the like they will be giving you the task so at that time they will be see it, uh, and again if they have requirement for the like python then again they will give you the training so uh, what they they know like uh, there is no certain uh, technology they will be uh, working after being hired for this company so that's why they will be uh, seeing like whether you are a good problem solver or not like they will be giving you the like few simple questions like find the factorial of a number and uh, find the whether the number is even and or how to reverse a number how to reverse a string or array how to uh, find the duplicate numbers in a array etc 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 these kind of things they will be giving you and they want to know the logic they don't know like uh, they don't need uh, to uh, write uh, you the like uh, query or code uh, in pen and paper they will be asking like what are the steps you will be taking in order to solve this problem suppose i am asking you to find a number uh, find whether a number is even or odd so first what will be doing you will be taking you uh, will be taking the number and will be dividing the number with 2 and you will be seeing like if the remainder is zero then it's a even number you can print otherwise you can print the odd if else part you can do so like this they need the uh, this thing they need they don't need like uh, for uh, if statement you need to start then uh, curly braces then again you need to uh, uh, do the like uh, print the statement etc these kind of things they don't uh, expect because if you are telling about like in java and later they have requirement for the python so they need only the problem solving capability only 
and apart from that and uh, if you are willing to like uh, yeah one more thing most of the companies or the IT companies will be asking you from the data structure part most of the time but as you have not mentioned data structure in your resume then you can tell like I don't know uh, much in the data structure part by I but I know like a link list and uh, like a tree etc etc these are the basic things I know and I have started learning all these things and I will be completing the learning process within like 30 days or 40 uh, days 45 days etc these kind of things you can uh, mention because these are the uh, this is a consultancy company TCS is a consultancy company it is not a fraud based company the fraud based company like Amazon or Flipkart, Mintra etc these companies expect you must know data, uh, data structure this is must because uh, it is uh, mandatory for the fraud based company to filter uh, filter the candidates like this, this is an extra uh, eligibility criteria you can say because uh, in case of this uh, consultant com uh, consultancy company it is not mandatory you can mention all these things and apart from that if uh, one more thing I uh, forgot to tell you so while uh, mentioning all the skills in your resume this is one of the most important thing I have seen that most of the time candidates what mention they like feel overconfident if I am mentioning all these skills in my resume then recruiter will think yeah this candidate knows like uh, many things so I can hire them these things never happens like this if you are mentioning I know this many uh, technologies like C, Java, Python, Angular, uh, SQL, PL, SQL, Oracle, uh, Fusion, Cloud, etc, etc, Azure, etc. From that technology also they will be asking you because the more you uh, mention the more their expectation will uh, rise. So uh, I would suggest all of you to give the technologies or the skills that you are very much proficient with. That means I know very well uh, in C and Java or SQL. Only mention these things. Most of the time I have seen that the candidates those who know the basics of C also they are being placed in TCS, Infosys, Wipro etc. Like these mass hiring companies. Because they are uh, very well in these technologies or uh, they are logically they are strong. These things companies uh, only check these things only. I am repeatedly I am telling you uh, they will be checking whether you are logically strong or not. Just uh, take your pen and paper and try to think like suppose if uh, anyone is giving me to find a factorial of a number how can I how can I find so finding a factorial means uh, multiplying with that uh, with its factors up to like uh, one uh, suppose I am asking you to find the factorial of 10 so starting from 1 to 10 I need to multiply so for uh, like uh, repeated multiplication what I can do I can use the for loop or while uh, condition etc I can use and inside that repeatedly I can multiply by the incrementing the number or decrement whatever you have taken the initial stage you can increment or decrement so like this at the end I can print so like this you can try to think the more you think the your logical ability or the capability will be enhanced so apart from that these, these are the most important things you need to take care of and don't even think that I belong to this mechanical background or the civil background and uh, I think I don't know that much and how can I crack this off campus so literally I am telling you are not going to attend the Amazon off campus or the Flipkart off campus you are going to attend the uh, TCS off campus there is a hell and heaven difference between Amazon off campus and the TCS off campus I am not underestimating any company but this is the fact they will be asking you the most basic things they will be asking you and whatever you have mentioned in your resume go through the resume 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 times go through your resume whatever you have mentioned same things they will be asking you like I have I can see that you have mentioned this project you have done in your final year or in your previous year or this is the recent project so what you have mentioned uh, like uh, please explain a bit uh, about this technology and sometimes they ask you the uh, specification of the component suppose if we have used this X component and what is the uh, specification like uh, what is the model number these kind of steps also they ask if they are uh, more curious to know so make uh, like uh, go through all these things related to your project three things I'll be telling related to your project you need to prepare if you belong to any uh, non IT background then prepare for your background things like uh, just pick any uh, topic 
thermodynamics or solid mechanics etc just one topic you need to choose from that topic they will be asking you just try to give your best if you are not able to uh, uh, explain properly or fully just explain i am not that much interested in this technology so that's why i i have forgotten because i am not in the practice of this all these things they don't uh, care whether you uh, remember the formula of young modulus etc etc they don't care because at a later they will not be uh, these things will not be helping tcs and yeah one more thing uh, if they are asking you to uh, like uh, you belong to the non it background and why do you want to join uh, tcs or any other it field so just think properly and you can like uh, you can show your passion because i am i am very much passionate in these things like don't tell that yeah there are uh, huge openings or the requirements in this it field that's why i am jumping so without any uh, passion uh, or without any skill if you are jumping like you will not be able to survive there must be a strong region if i am choosing something there must be a strong or the valid region so just try to think about this all these are the like men uh, like uh, uh, what you can say these are the fixed questions they will be asking you tell something to yourself why it why tcs in the hr interview why tcs and uh, many things they will be asking you and the list of the questions you can get from our previous videos we have already discussed about like technical and the hr stuffs we already discussed everything we have discussed but this video was the last minute preparation guide you have already uh, got 16 to 17 minutes in this video but every second is important literally every second is important and at the last i will tell you one thing extra here like uh, i also belong to this uh, tcs company or the i am also a part of tcs and i belong to the mechanical engineering background so whatever i have experienced same thing here i am explaining here i hope i believe i i don't hope i believe you all uh, you will be able to crack this off campus or the technical hr interview if you are have that much of confidence or uh, faith on yourself so all the best for tcs off campus if you have any doubt regarding this tcs off campus or any other thing you can reach us through the email address or you can drop your comments in the comment section below definitely i'll be trying to help you as soon as possible and for the mock interview uh, you must go for the mock interview because there like uh, you'll be able to know many things there so i would suggest all of you go for the mock interview and uh, you need to pay a little bit uh, uh, amount of money you need to pay but it will be at the end you'll be telling yeah it worth uh, like uh, worth uh, taking the mock interview so i hope you all are able to understand and all the best for your job search or for this tcs of campus 